In Murray Hill, AT&T employees are on strike this weekend because of what they call unfair labor practices. We have our news for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller out there live. Brittany, they're a part of a group that spans across nine states and the entire southeast. Yes, that's right. Good morning, Zach and Ashley. As of midnight, 23,000 AT&T employees went on strike. They say they want AT&T to come to the bargaining table so they can secure a fair contract. AT&T says it is aware of the strike. Union representatives say they are striking because of unfair labor practices and want AT&T to come back to the bargaining table. AT&T told the Miami Herald it was prepared for the strike and took measures to ensure interruptions in areas like service call appointments and installations would be minimized for its customers. It also says it's committing to reaching a fair agreement. One protester says this is a protest against the com company and not their customers. This is a ULP strike. We have filed charges at the district level with the National Labor Relations Board to uh, seek uh, AT&T, to pressure AT&T to return to the bargaining table with people that can make the decisions and secure a, a collective bargaining agreement with uh, the workers of District 3. Workers say the strike is scheduled to end at 10 a.m. on Wednesday. In the meantime, AT&T says it's had a contingency plan in place, so customers should not see a difference in their service. Reporting live this morning, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station. Good information. Thank you very much, Brittany.